What is up, you beautiful people? How are you on this fine, lovely day? Thanksgiving is right around the corner. What are you going to do on that day? Let's talk down below in the comments and let's start with today's episode where we learn of the one and only clone who helped Vader the most in executing Order 66. You can imagine both Palpatine and Vader basically love this guy and yeah, we've talked about him before where it's interesting to see a clone getting so appreciated that much by Imperials. Back then, it was a time of peace, my friends. That's what the Emperor was promoting at least, and Obi-Wan flaunted his high ground too, as always, but you can check out all of this on my shop. Check it out, link in bio. Now, who here has followed Commander Apo's rise during the Clone Wars and after? In fact, did you know that he superseded Rex after Order 66? Rex disappeared after the Clone Wars and the crime leader of the 501st was handed over to Apo, who led the now named Vader's Fist during Imperial times. But before all of this happened and before everything was demolished, for this video I would love to go through everything Apo did during Order 66, since he was heavily involved and some of you might not have noticed that. You see, many believe that we only saw Apo in the Clone Wars series, but Apo first appeared in Revenge of the Sith. But unfortunately, as every other clone trooper in the film, he was completely CGI. This is the first time we see him, although we don't know exactly where. This is during the march towards the temple led by Vader where they were getting ready to demolish the Jedi Order and every single Jedi inside. But I think it's important to note where he was before this. You see, he participated in the Umbara battle, or to us fans, the Umbara arc. He worked alongside Pong Krell during that time and was witness to the evil that he turned into. The Jedi slowly but surely turned the clones against each other and when confronted, Krell went off and killed many of his clone brothers. After the whole ordeal was done and Krell died, Apple was acknowledged and immediately after Umbara was given the rank of commander. Shortly after that, Order 66 was executed and as we said previously, he participated together with the rest of the 501st and were led by Darth Vader inside the temple where slowly but surely they dismantled the entire Jedi Order. That's the first time we see Apo in Revenge of the Sith and in Star Wars in general. So after the massacre we have another Apo feature, this scene where Bail Organa arrives just outside the temple and as he landed, Apo and his 501st comrades were there to stop him. Once Bail asked what was going on, Apo told him that there was a rebellion and that everything is taken care of. Right at that moment, a youngling named Zet Jukasa rushed towards the clones and began slashing at troopers with his lightsaber. Having been taken by surprise, Apo ordered his troopers to open fire on Jukasa, but as they were shooting, Jukasa cut down Apo. Some fellow soldiers were killed by the Padawan and Organa did manage to escape. Now, Jukasa's attack seriously wounded Apo. He wasn't dead, as many of you commented to me on a previous video. He did survive, but took a lot for him to recover. The next time we see a healthy Apo is when he saved Vader's life from a Jedi ambush. We did that video a couple of days ago, you guys loved that one, and yeah, with that Order 66 came and went. Apo continued his service to Darth Vader and to his new empire. There is a lot that he did afterward, and man, did Vader put him to work. Regardless, the subject was Order 66 and Apo executing the order and with that we are slowly coming to the end of the video all right guys thank you so much i love you guys thank you for the support especially during these hard times hope you had fun if you enjoyed leave a thumbs up and hit that bell to get notified the moment a new video is up have an awesome day my guys and may the force be with you always